بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم نجم سیف فرام کریسنٹ اسکول دس از تھرڈ ویک سیکنڈ ڈے اینڈ آئی ایم ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ سائنس اینڈ دا ٹاپک از فوڈ چین جسٹ ٹو ریکال دا پریویس لیسن وی ریوائز دا ڈیفینیشنس وچ آر گیون بلو نمبر ون ہر بی وور دے آر پلانٹ ایٹر فار ایگزامپل گوٹ ڈیئر ایکسیکٹرا کارنی وور دے آر میٹ ایٹر فار ایگزامپل ٹائگر لائن ایکسیکٹرا اومنی وور دے آر بوتھ پلانٹ اینڈ میٹ ایٹر فار ایگزامپل کرو ہیومنس اینڈ سون پروڈیوسرس پلانٹس آر پروڈیوسرس دے میک دیئر اون فوڈ فار ایگزامپل گرین پلانٹس and grass etc consumers they depend on plants and other animals for example rabbit snake etc food chain the food relationship between plants and animals is called food chain Today we learn more about food chain. How to write food chain? What is the process to write down the food chain? How can we arrange the names of producers, consumers, primary consumers, secondary consumers in a proper place? What are the new terms of primary or secondary consumers? What are prey and predators? For this new terms, prey and predators, I have a video for you for your better understanding and the revision of your previous topics. First of all, watch the video. No matter where on earth you go, Living things are connected to each other. From the tiniest of organisms to the largest of creatures, all living things need energy to survive. So where does that energy come from? Well, matter and energy passes from one organism to another, connecting living things like links in a chain. A food chain. Of course, a food chain is not an actual chain. It's a way to talk about the relationships between organisms and show how matter and energy flow between living things. Every living thing on Earth is part of a food chain, including you, and most things are part of more than one. All of the energy in Earth's food chains comes from the sun. The sun's energy reaches the Earth as light and heat. and plants capture some of it and convert it into food through photosynthesis. Because plants make or produce their own food from the sun's energy, they are called producers. Every food chain must begin with a producer, for example, grass. That's because animals cannot create their own food. They must eat or consume energy from other sources. That's why animals are called consumers. The second link in a food chain is a consumer that eats plants, an herbivore. When an animal eats plants, some of the energy the plant captured from the sun is transferred into the animal's body, where it is used for things like moving, breathing, and growing. An herbivore is called a primary consumer. Primary means first, because an animal eating plants is the first consumer in the food chain. Let's add a rabbit to our food chain. Next comes a secondary consumer, the second consumer in the food chain. This consumer is a carnivore and gets their energy by eating other animals. Maybe our rabbit will get eaten by a fox. When the fox eats the rabbit, part of the energy that the rabbit got from the grass is transferred to the fox. This is the end of this simple food chain. The rabbit eats the grass, then the fox eats the rabbit. The energy that came from the sun is captured by the grass 
transferred to the rabbit, and then transferred to the fox. Some food chains are longer than this one, but there can't be too many links in a food chain. Each animal in the food chain uses up a lot of the energy from the previous level instead of passing it on, meaning that only about 10% of the energy consumed by an animal will be passed on to the next level. Let's take a look at a longer food chain that also begins with grass. This time, let's make our primary consumer a grasshopper. The grasshopper eats the grass and then gets eaten by a secondary consumer, a bluebird. Then the bluebird gets eaten by a tertiary or third level consumer, a snake. The snake is eaten in turn by an owl. The owl is the apex predator in this food chain. Apex predators are not hunted and eaten by any animals. We say that they are at the top of the food chain. You probably recognize a lot of apex predators, like lions, sharks, eagles, and crocodiles. Just because they don't get eaten doesn't mean that they don't contribute to the food chain, however. When an animal dies, their body is broken down by decomposers. Decomposers are usually bacteria and fungi that break down dead plants and animals into nutrients in the soil that in turn help the plants at the beginning of the food chain to grow. It's the circle of life. Natural ecosystems usually have more complicated food chains, however. A network of interconnected food chains is called a food web. The arrows are used to show which direction the energy flows and help keep track of the connections between organisms. Now that you understand a little bit more about food chains, See if you can find the connections between living things around you. I hope you liked the video and it helped you to understand more about food chain. It revised the previous topics and also new terms are introduced like prey and predator. Here I have a brief description about the term prey and predator and how to write the food chain. For example, now look at this food chain, grass, rabbit, fox. The black arrow sign means eaten by the grass plant which is called the producer because it makes its own food is eaten by the rabbit which is then eaten by the fox thus the rabbit and the fox are also called as consumers a predator catches and eats other animals while a prey is the animal which is caught and eaten in the food chain above the rabbit is the prey of the fox and the fox is the rabbit's predator. Now explain what would happen if all plants suddenly die. Now give me think about it and then give the answers. Okay. I have some pictures for better understanding of prey and predators. Look at this first picture. In the first picture, the spider eat fly. The fly is prey and spider is predator. And the next beautiful sea life is shown. The small fish is eaten by a big fish. The small fish is prey. Other examples, birds and the land animals. In the first picture, the caterpillar is prey and bird is predator. Seagull is the, I think, yes, this is predator and fish is prey. 
and the last picture shows the tiger is predator and the eaten animal is prey look at these food chains and all of you try to find out prey and predators from them the food chains are these number 1 grass grasshopper eat the grass and frog eat the grasshopper find out the prey and predator rice is eaten by hen and hen is eaten by human beings then grass is eaten by deer and deer is eaten by tiger deer eat fish and fish eat water plant who is prey and predator in this food chain monkey eat ant and ant eat leaves of the trees now i think the prey and predators are more clear in your mind now here for you for your better practice or for your more practice okay the first question is done by the students on book student do the page 15 of text book and this is your book task number 2 write a food chain to represent the food relationship between the cabbage plant caterpillar and the bird yesterday i give you choice to write on the food chain of your own choice but here i give you the names of these things and you arrange the name of these things in a proper food chain third question here define the producers predators and prey in the food chain this work is done in your notebooks have a nice day see you tomorrow